Stephen here from History Hustle and I'm standing in Riga, the capital of Latvia. And in this video I'm going to discuss the Latvian War of Independence, a war that took place from 1918 till 1920 and it took place in the aftermath of both the Russian Revolution and the First World War. We've discussed many armed conflicts so far, but I tell you this, the Latvian War of Independence is one of the most complicated conflicts that took place in history. So bear with me and we're going to barrel through this. Now before we're going to dive into this conflict, let's take a look at the different combatants. First of all, the Latvian independent movement. These were Latvians that wanted an independent Latvia. Second, the Bolsheviks. These were Russian communists that seized power after the October Revolution of 1917 in Russia. Third, the Germans or more specific the Baltic Landeswehr. They wanted to keep the Bolsheviks out, but also establish a pro-German government in Latvia. Fourth, the West Russian Volunteer Army. This army was created by the Germans, and within this army there were former Russian POWs that got captured during the First World War by the Germans. They also wanted to keep the Bolsheviks out, out of Latvia and out of Russia. And because Latvia used to be a part of Russia, they wanted to keep that. 1914, World War One breaks out. Russia fights against Germany. Now, the war goes very bad for Russia. Millions of soldiers die at the front. February 1917, there is a revolution. The Tsar has to lay down his power and now there's a provisional government formed led by the socialist Kerensky. Now, at that point, there were many parts of the Russian Empire that wanted to become independent. Latvia was one of them. Now Kerensky did not want this and also he made a very unpopular decision to continue the war against Germany. September 1917 Germans occupy Riga. October that year the October Revolution takes place. Russian communists, the Bolsheviks led by Vladimir Lenin now gain power. At that point there were still Germans in Latvia. They remained to be there even till after the armistice of 11 November 1918. Because one week later, on the 18th of November 1918, Latvia declares itself independence. This day is even until now being celebrated as being Independence Day. A part of the Germans leave, another part stays. But then, at the beginning of December, the Bolsheviks, the Red Army, attacks. They declare the Latvian Socialist Soviet Republic. The communists kill thousands of alleged enemies. Also, they make land reforms, which are followed by famine. There's resistance, which is followed by terror. To sum it up in short, the Latvian communist government becomes very unpopular in a short amount of time. With communists now in power, the Germans and the Latvians join forces and in March 1919 they strike back. Two months later, May 1919, they reconquer Riga and with that the Bolshevik threat for Latvia is now expelled. However, Latvian independence is far from certain because the Germans were not interested in that. They wanted to expel the Bolsheviks, yes, but they also wanted to install a pro-German government in Latvia. The Germans were together with the West Russian Volunteer Army, an army they created themselves to fight against the Bolsheviks. But this army wanted to restore Russian rule in Latvia as it was before the First World War. Fighting resumed. The Latvians are not alone. They're being supported by the Estonians, who are also waging their own war of independence, as well as the Poles. And they got elite support. On the 11th of November 1919, exactly one year after World War I, Came to an end, they conquer Riga and expel the Russian forces. With that, the Germans also leave. In August 1920, with the peace treaty of Riga, Soviet Russia acknowledged the independence of Latvia. So there you have it, the Latvian war of independence with all its complications. I hope you find this video interesting. If you do, give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll read all your comments, especially to you Latvian viewers out there. I'm really curious what you thought of this video. So let me know. 
Thanks for watching and to Latvians, happy Independence Day and until next time.